Holy smokes! Eric! Whoa. Dude! What's going on guys? It's Mike here, back with another fishing video. So today guys, we are gonna be switching it up completely, something we've never done on the channel. And we are out here on the White River here in Arkansas with my buddy Eric. And today, we are gonna be fishing for some trout. All right guys, so if you guys know anything about the White River, especially here in Arkansas, um, it is known for world-class brown trout and just trout fishing in general. So today, we're down here on the river. Uh, we just found a nice little spot. We're kind of off in the rapids a little bit. The water's a little bit high, but it's a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be freezing tomorrow, so hopefully we can get some of these trout to bite. But um, we're gonna get our lines in the water and hopefully we can catch a couple of trout today. So stick around guys, let's catch some fish. Yeah. All right, man. Locked and loaded, man. Let's let's see what you're rocking, man. I got a little uh, bumblebee. Got a little buzz spin there, a little uh, spinner. I actually had one of these beforehand, but broke off on me. I just really like, I've caught some uh, small mouth of that actually. Man, that sucker's dynamite, man. Beautiful though, I like it. Got the hip waders ready to rock, man. You I don't. Gotta hit up this little current over here, though. Yeah, the current looks dynamite. And earlier today, we were up uh, the river a little bit, and we talked to a couple of guys, and they had caught a couple of rainbows this morning, and it looks like they were doing pretty good. So, see if we can catch some fish. All right, guys, I'll show you guys what I'm rocking here. Whoop. I think I'm gonna try this little rooster tail spinner here in that bright orange. Just got my smallmouth rod here. I was gonna try to throw in some uh, some four pound line, but I didn't have any, so I'm just still rocking my six pound fluoro. So hopefully that won't affect my casting too much, which that's all right, it's about maybe 30 feet out there. I think I'm gonna try this spot for just a little bit. And then I might make my way onto that little patch right there and see if I can get more out into the into the rapids there. I think Eric might be able to get out there a lot better than I can since he's got his uh, hip waders on. I'm just in my regular old waterproof boots here, so I won't be able to get in too deep, but if we're really getting on them, I'll get up in that water. Just gonna have to kind of flick it kind of hard there. With a four pound line, you'd definitely be able to get that little buzz spin way out there. So I figure what we'll do is, we'll fish these little rooster tails for a bit, see if we can get on some of these fish with this, and then if not, we have some uh, trout bait in there, which we might just kind of send out on a little hook and wait and just kind of chuck it out there. I'll probably weight it down pretty well so I can get it kind of far out in there and then maybe we'll just float some of that bait and see if we can get some trout to bite out there. I'm actually hoping we can just kind of get on with this little rooster tail though. I kind of don't want to do any bait fishing like that but if this doesn't produce any fish then I'm definitely going to switch over and get that bait on there. I'm not sure if trout kind of stay up kind of close or if maybe they get out farther into the deeper water. I'm not sure if they're out there in the fast water, but kind of where I'm at, it's, it's almost like a little bit of an eddy. It kind of like swirls back around. It's pretty calm where I'm fishing. It's clear, like really clear water, and it's deep. It's probably like five feet deep right there, and I can see all the way down to the bottom, and it's like complete overcast today. Man, I like how there's like basically no wind today too. Yeah. It would have been like super cold if it was like super windy right now. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 100% chance of snow. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get out tomorrow and fish, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Yeah, maybe some local stuff, man. I, man, it doesn't matter how cold it is, man. If I gotta go out there and hit that little Sugar Creek, I'm on it, man. They might not be wanting this red or that yellow. Exactly. Gotta figure out the right bait. But we have seen a lot of people out today, especially when we went to that first boat ramp. Yeah. 
there was quite a quite a few trout boats getting put in so everybody's kind of got the same idea plus two days ago was the uh the annual roaring river trout run so it's definitely in season right now all right i think i'm gonna add a little bit of weight to this see if i can get it out there just a little bit farther i'm, I'm using this stuff dude i'm telling you man <laughs> in the meantime i'm gonna use uh, as much as my uh, my little spoons and jigs that i that i can just to get it out of my system you know what I mean? yeah if, if if i can't get anything within an hour on these little guys <laughs> i think it's time to use that power bait power bait's going on all right man you hit that patch over here i'll hit this bend and i'm gonna try to get that uh over here on this uh the wrap is over here okay see what i can get over there i'll holler if i get some you, you fire me up if you got one all right guys so eric's gonna go around the corner try to get off into those rapids a little bit he just put a little split shot on his um spinner bait he switched up his color i got the same color on i left my tackle bag up in the car so i'm gonna try this a little bit more i still have faith in it but i'm gonna work my way around this bank here and hopefully i can get on some fish if not power bait is going on all right guys i found a little spot to make my way down here Whew. whoa man look at this guys now this is a spot right here eric's around there i was up on that ledge right up there and i couldn't see any fish but look at this spot here it's all just straight pure crystal clear rock quarry look somebody's made a little fire over here look at these bluffs this is an awesome spot i think next time we'll bring the john boat out here there's a couple spots um, downstream where you can put the john boat in but we just wanted to do some bank fishing today. Definitely gonna be bringing the John boat though. I mean, look at this. Wow, and it looks nice, nice and dark in there. All right guys, I'm at spot number two. I didn't have any luck around the corner. Eric's still up there. He's gonna try to work himself up the bank a little bit more. I'm still rocking that little red buzz tail. I just found this uh, bigger pot of uh, water here. So hopefully we can get some big old trout over here. Stick around. Yeah. Oh, got one, guys. Fish on. Ooh, baby. Fish on, guys. That's a good one. Oh, man. What do we have here? I'm not even sure what we have yet. What is this? Guys, it's a walleye. Guys, I got a walleye. Oh, man. I'm trying to get him. I'm not trying to get hooked here. I don't deal with too many walleye, so I'm not really too sure of what we do here. There we go. Guys! <laughs> Got that walleye! Check it out, guys. Perfect hook set. Right there in the side of the lip. Look at those teeth there, guys. It's a good-sized walleye. Look at that. From my hand to my elbow. I don't, oh, what the... What is that on me? Did he just... I think he did. Guys. Check out that walleye. I don't know if that... Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on, baby. I don't know if they have uh, anything that'll... Whoa, I just stepped on my rod. Check out that walleye, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get you back in just a second, buddy. Awesome, guys. All right, buddy. Get him back in there. There he goes. Man, I didn't know what that was at first. I don't really fish for a lot of walleye. But as soon as I seen those eyes, they were like white and reflective. Then I knew, I was like, yep, that's a walleye. Sure enough, he had some spiky little teeth on him. I was just kind of like pre-fishing this area a little bit, so I didn't have my chesty on. Good thing I had the, uh, the tripod camera going, but sure enough, I casted that bait out. I let the current kind of take it around. And then as soon as I got in this little cut, you guys probably can't see that, but there's a little bit of a cut of rocks right here 
where it kind of dives down and there's a slight bit of a channel and it looks like he came up and grabbed it right out of that channel as soon as I got it to the, about that 45 degree mark. Came up and whacked it, got him right in the side of the lip. Perfect hook set. All right. Yeah. Just got that walleye, guys. Well, now we know that the rooster tail is going to be the, uh, the working bait so far. I was kind of losing a little bit of faith in it, but the old rooster tail and that orange. Bam. Got it. I was probably about maybe 10 casts away from going back there and uh, getting some power bait. So now we know that the, uh, the wall are biting at least. I tried to whistle for you, but I didn't know if you could hear me. Come on down, man. Check this little sweet spot out. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, bro. This is it, dude. I didn't know what I had at first. I was kind of like, what is that? What'd you catch it on? Dude, on the spinner. Nice. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. It dude. was like from my uh, tip of my fingers down to my elbow. Really, dude? Yeah. Did you get it on the camera? Dude, I got it. Yeah, I didn't have my chesty on, but I had the uh, tripod on. Oh yeah, dude. dude this is crazy. Oh, I know. Look at this little spot. Isn't this cool? That is awesome, I mean, those dude. bluffs are probably what 200, 300 feet. Yeah, that's still high. I mean, look at that, man. That's like 390s elevated all the way up. Man, all those are in the same spot. No luck. No luck. Did you dude. see any? Nah, dude. dude. There's, there's this dude told me he caught like three of them before. But oh, really? He came back and he kept it. Check it out right here. All right, so I've seen quite a quite a few fish in these pockets right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Watch, come over here, man. They might be over here. I just seen something. I think it was a brown trout. It was about 16 inches long over here. I was standing over in this area. See where these white sticks are? Yeah. And I'm just kind of standing here and I can see him kind of pulling up. See where this little cut is? Oh, there's one right yeah, there in the cut. I see, it, I see it. Two of them. I see it. See them? There's two in the cut, three. I've been casting out, letting my bait kind of go. And as I'm reeling it in, it kind of wraps around and follows that cut. And that's where I just whacked that walleye. I think those are rainbows though. Dude. Dude, right here, man. <laughs> dude, we found them. Dude, I knew we just had to find them, dude. We just had Good to job, find them, dude. man. <laughs> we're on them now, man. All right, guys, we're gonna shorten it up a little bit here. I just spiked a little trick worm there, put it on a little jig head. We gonna try that. I just took it out there a few times just to give it a go and I had a couple chasers on it. So hopefully this might be the trick here. They're definitely in this little pocket. Now all we need to do is just get them to bite. Uh-oh, my boy, Eric, you got one, man. Oh. Holy smokes, oh. Eric. Whoa. Dude, a walleye. Woo. Dude, Get the dude, you got a wally. Oh. Dude, Eric, bro, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> dude, how big is that? Dude, that's, uh, that's 20 plus inches, man. Dude, I want to keep it, dude. <laughs> Eric, all right, man. I'm gonna get you in a couple here. Dude! Yes. Bro! Dude. That's awesome. That dude. is awesome, man. Look at dude, those eyes. This has to be a keeper, dude. I mean, you could keep it, I guess. I don't know what the regulations are, but. I think 16 inches is what it said. It's over 16, it's I guarantee you that. 16 inches. That's 20 at least. Bro, Eric. Dude, I want to keep it, dude. That's a great fish, man. Oh man, dude, that's a great fish. Fish. Dude, on the crankbait, and you just said, man, you're like, I got a feeling I'm about to catch something on this crankbait. <laughs> Two walleyes today. Dude. I seen you, man, and you caught it on an ultralight. That thing probably felt like a tank. 
I'm like looking over at you like, dude, there's there's no way. He's got to be like stuck on something because the, the rod was completely bent over. All right, guys, I guess we're going to call it there. So we started out the day fishing for trout. Didn't really uh, catch any trout today, but we did catch a couple of big walleye. So <laughs> the day was a success. And any day you can get out and do a little bit of fishing, especially with a friend, is always a good day in my book. So we're definitely going to be coming out to this spot again, probably pretty soon, actually. Um, I know the walleye are running right now, so that definitely makes sense why, uh, <laughs> why we were catching walleye today. We've seen a ton of rainbow and brown trout just right here in this little spot, but just weren't able to connect with anything. And I mean, we were throwing everything, spinner baits, grubs, power bait, you name it, we were throwing it. And we ended up catching the walleye on the spinner bait. And then Eric caught that really big keeper walleye on that deep diving crankbait. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up guys have any comments questions let me know down in the box below and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and as always we'll see you guys in the next one see ya yeah Later.